Chapter 8, numbers 6 and 7, practice problems. Um, this should jog your memory a little bit back to some basic math. Um, you're given two numbers, 45 and 125, and I purposely used the same two number, uh, pairs of numbers for these two problems. Greatest common divisor um, is going to be the largest number that will divide evenly into both of these numbers. And then the least common multiple is going to be the smallest number that both of these two numbers will divide into evenly. So we start both of these the same way. You find the prime factorization using the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Um, so you take 45 and break it down into 9 times 5. 9 is 3 times 3. So you have 3 squared times 5 is equal to 45. Then take 125. Use a similar process. Um, notice that I have a 3 to the 0 because 125 is equal to 25 times 5 or 5 times 5 times 5. There is no uh, factor of 3 here, but you can make one um, with a 0 exponent that's equal to 1, so that you can kind of match these two up. And again, you're going to do the same thing here. So basically, if there is a factor that is not existent in one of the two numbers, you would just put it in and give it an exponent of 0. Okay, for the um, greatest common divisor, what we want to do is we want to compare these two numbers. And we're going to take the um, lower exponent um, along in our answer. So we're going to take this 3 to the 0. And compare these two. You have a 5, which is a 5 to the 1st, and a 5 to the 3rd. Compare the 1 and the 3. Notice that the 1 is going to be smaller, so we take that along. And then what we do is just find the product of those two numbers. Um, so 3 to the 0 is 1, and 5 to the 1st is 5, and that's going to equal 5. So 5 is the largest number that will divide evenly into these two numbers. And then um, for the least common multiple, now you're going to compare these exponents and take the one that is larger. Again, we want both of these numbers to divide into it evenly, so you've got to do that. Um, the 2 is greater than the 0, so we take this 3 to the 2nd. The 3 is greater than the 1, so we're going to take the 5 to the 3rd. 3 to the 2nd times 5 to the 3rd is going to eventually equal 1,125.